Hey, good morning, YouTube. This is John with Space City EC. Uh, bringing you a video this morning about the uh, Leatherman Juice XE6. The Leatherman Juice series was a uh, a mid-sized multi-tool plier based uh, that is now discontinued. Uh, it was brought back briefly in 2022. That's where I happened to pick up uh, this one. Um, when they were sold, they were sold uh, for $80 on the website. Uh, however, they, at the last minute they had a sale where you could get them for $40. So I was lucky enough to uh, pick up this version. And uh, we'll get into the specs of the uh, Juice XC6 and go over some of the pros and cons and what's to like and what's not to like about it. So, uh, there's been a lot of videos on these. Uh, I think they're a pretty good tool. I wish they would have never discontinued them. I don't know why they did, but that's for another pay grade. So they, uh, they had a previous version that uh, had some differences in it, and I'll, I'll show you those. Uh, but uh, this is a more European-friendly version, I would guess, because of the size of the knife blades and stuff. The overall length of the uh, juices are uh, three and a quarter inches. They are, uh, like I said, like a mid-range, mid-range multi-tool. Now this, the XE6 is pretty thick. It's, uh, uh, it's right, uh, right there, just almost three quarters of an inch. You know, your width is going to be right at an inch, a little over an inch. Uh, weight on these is 6.9 ounces or uh, 195 grams. So you're going to feel it when it's in your pocket. I mean, it's uh, not too heavy, but it's a little heavy. And these, none of these are locking blades. They're all slip joint design, made out of 420 HC steel. Uh, You've got aluminum scales and 18 tools. So let's get into it. Uh, some of the outside accessible tools, of course, is your, your main blade. That's a little clip point. Uh, cutting edge is right there at about uh, just under two inches. Uh, the overall blade length is going to be Almost looking about like two and a quarter. But it's a nice little cutting blade, and they all come. This one came razor sharp from the factory. Like I said, these don't lock, they have a pretty good retention slip joint. So you don't have to worry too much about it folding up on you. On this other side, you're going to have your uh, serrated blade, which is basically about the same length. About a three inch with a uh, just under a two inch cutting blade and uh, same thing slip joint no locking you got your corkscrew which you have to open up your uh, bottle cap lifter and can opener uh, which is also used as a pry tool when you're using your corkscrew, you can uh, put this up against your wine bottle and uh, pull that out. I don't drink wine, so I've never tested it, but I heard it works pretty well. So you have that, and then you have your scissors. Let's see, these are good little scissors. I don't think they're as good as Victorinox, but they're real close. You know, they're a good size. So. Uh, spring scissors. Now the thing that makes the juice, uh, you also have your awl and you have a saw that you can get to. It's a little bit hard to get out. But you have to open that corkscrew up to get that saw out. Let's see if I can do this. There we go. It's easier to grab it from the end. But you have a nice saw blade here. And the 
saw blade is right at just over two inches. It's a good size saw blade, and they, they work well. I've used them uh, trimming trimming tree limbs and things in the yard mostly, but. Uh, they work well. Then you, over here you have the file, which uh, I'm a big fan of the file. You've got your uh, metal mass wood. The cutting edge is not very aggressive at all. I wish I could see a little bit more aggressive cutting edge on the file, but it's okay. But the best part is it has a diamond file, which. Uh, is incorporated on the wave and uh, the surge and some of the larger multi-tools but the diamond file if I if I could most if I could if Leatherman would make more uh, multi-tools with the file versus the saw that would be great because I use the file a whole lot more than I would use a saw I do use a saw on occasion but not as often a size comparison Here's your wave. There's your juice. Uh, the uh, you know standard 91 millimeter the Tornox is about the same. Uh, a little bit bigger, but inside the tool you got your pliers. Which has a nice set of uh, needle nose pliers. You've got uh, a regular set of pliers here, and you've got your wire cutters and hard wire cutters right here, and uh, they work real well. I've used them quite a bit, but uh, it doesn't call this a crimping tool here in the back. But if you look at it in the way it's designed, you could use it on some smaller butt splices if you needed to to crimp them a little bit and that would work out now it has this nice Phillips it's a little bit short you know but uh, I like these Phillips on these and you can also use theirs an adapter they sell that fits the rebar and whatnot that works on these Phillips as well and in here you have your your lanyard ring, if you want to use a lanyard ring on these. Now mine didn't come with a sheath when they sold these. Uh, however, uh, you can buy sheaths. The, if you go to the Leatherman website, and uh, this is a medium size sheath for a wave, but you can get these in the small, which is a three and a quarter. It'll fit three and a quarter tools like the juice. And uh, carry it like that. This one also has the three flat drivers. Of course, your medium, your fine tip, and your larger flat tip. And the smaller one here, uh, which would work, of course, good for eyeglasses and whatnot, but it also could be used uh, as a potential reamer or punch if you wanted to. It's pretty, pretty sharp. But... Uh, that's pretty much the tool set for that. And then, uh, you know, like I said, these were, came out in 2022 for a short time. I guess Leatherman was getting rid of some, their stock, final stock in them, but, uh, I got mine when I also picked up this one, which is a CS, uh, CS4. It's a little thinner. A little bit easier to pocket carry. Uh, you know, of course, there's nothing as big as the Swiss Champ, but uh, it is sizable. But uh, anyway, this is the Leatherman Juice XE6, and I was going to show you the Pro model, which was the older version. It's exactly pretty much the same tool set, except the knife blades were different. See that there. Definitely a difference in the knife blade. You've got uh, a 
cutting edges right at two inches, a little over two inches, two and an eighth, two and a, right there, where it's on this, the newer version here, and it drops it down, which I'm thinking they did that mainly to appeal to the European market. Uh, it doesn't really affect the uh, functionality of the knife blade, but uh, I prefer the longer knife blade. If I had my choice. Other than that, pretty much the tool set's all the same. You can see this one is well loved. It's my oldest one. Uh, and you know, this these are kind of in direct com competition with Victorinox, but you know, these are more plier based. You can see this is a medium duty plier. Victorinox pliers on the smaller 91 millimeters. They're good little pliers for fine, fine stuff. You know, small things, but uh, they're no comparison to the to the juice pliers. So just keep that in mind. And of course, you know, they definitely don't compare to, say, your wave pliers, which uh, is a much, much larger plier. But it depends on what you need. You know, if you don't need a large plier, you just need something. They're great. Uh, I carry my CS4 in my to-go kit a lot. My little grab bag that uh, I keep because it fits so well. You know, and uh, it's a nice little addition to your EDC. But anyway, just wanted to put that out there for everyone. You know, if you have one of these, make a comment if you like it. If you don't like it, uh, probably about the only thing I really... It's not that I don't like that. It, it's just it is a bit chunky. So for me, uh, I'd almost be more prone to carry this in a sheath than my pocket. Uh, and they do make the smaller sheath uh, by leather and the little nylon sheath. They don't make the leather ones anymore, but you can purchase the nylon sheath on the website. Just make sure you get the small version. And they're about $10. They're real reasonable. So... Uh, just keep that in mind. But I hope you guys are having a great day. Once again, this is John with Space City EDC. Just wanted to bring you a video on the Leatherman Juice XE6. Hope you guys have a great day. And uh, hopefully, if you like this content, you'll like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. You guys take care.